Alaska glacier pilots demand aircraft landing in 200 feet, while Texas ranchers need 500 mile range, and Montana mountain operators require 10,000 foot density altitude performance, creating completely different bush plane requirements across American states. Today, we examine 10 experimental aircraft, proving terrain, climate, and mission profiles determine which design dominates regional markets. Welcome to Montana versus Texas versus Alaska. Which bush plane dominates each state? Montana, ranchers watching YouTube videos of carbon cub operations popping off riverbeds in 300 feet, finally understand why legacy Cessna 180 ownership no longer makes economic sense when comparing acquisition costs against actual backcountry capability delivered by modern experimental bush plane technology optimized specifically for short takeoff and landing performance. The Carbon Cub EX3 represents pinnacle of contemporary Estol kit philosophy, combining 4130 chromoly steel tube fuselage with aggressive carbon fiber weight reduction strategies, creating two seat tail dragger capable of gross weights around 2,000 pounds, while maintaining empty weights near 1,050 to 1,150 pounds, leaving payload margins that humiliate certified competitors across board. Standard power plant centers on CC363 i fuel injected, a Lycoming derivative producing 186 horsepower driving constant speed propeller through precisely engineered reduction gear, creating thrust to weight ratios, enabling climb rates exceeding 2,000 feet per minute at sea level, with takeoff distances demonstrated repeatedly under 100 feet in optimal wind conditions using 31 or 35 inch Tundra tires. Stall speed in full flap landing configuration drops to approximately 36 to 37 miles per hour, maintaining solid aileron authority throughout final approach critical for confined area operations, where tree lines and terrain features demand absolute control precision at minimum controllable air speeds throughout deceleration regime. All metal wings using aluminum long arenas and ribs covered with aircraft grade fabric combine massive flaps with conventional ailerons, creating high lift coefficient necessary for extreme stall capability, while fuel tanks integrated into wing structure provide range approaching 600 to 700 nautical miles, depending on cruise power settings and payload configuration. For Texas Panhandle operations, requiring long cross-country legs between widely separated ranch properties, combined with occasional backcountry strip capability, the Carbon Cub EX3 delivers sports car performance in four-wheel drive. Package featuring glass panel avionics, leather interior climate control, and luxury appointments, while retaining fundamental ability to operate from cattle pasture or dirt road when mission demands tactical flexibility. But when Montana high altitude operations demand even more wing area and structural beef to handle truly brutal terrain, certain builders reject carbon cup refinement entirely, seeking maximum stall capability, regardless of speed or comfort compromises. Alaska bush operators who routinely land on glacier faces, gravel bars and tundra strips measured in hundreds of feet rather than thousands, understand that Piper PA-18 Super Cub represents proven baseline but modern. Backcountry Super Cub kit takes every dimensional parameter and stretches it beyond original certification limits creating purpose-built stall monster. Extended wing area combined with massive flaps, fixed leading edge slats, and reinforced 4130 steel tube fuselage designed for gross weights approaching 2,300 to 2,500 pounds. Transforms classic Cub DNA into helicopter alternative, capable of accessing locations where even expensive turbine aircraft refuse operating safely. Lycoming O-360 or O-375 power plants, producing 180 to over 200 horsepower swing. Constant speed propellers optimized for static thrust rather than cruise efficiency, creating takeoff performance measured in 100 to 200 feet under ideal conditions. With landings accomplished in similar distances, when pilot commits to full flap steep approach angles that would terrify pilots trained exclusively on paved runways. Stall speeds drop below 40 miles per hour in landing configuration meaning aircraft touches down barely faster than automobile drives through school zone creating margin for error that proves difference between successful backcountry operation and insurance claim. Full fabric covering over metal structure follows traditional cub construction philosophy, ensuring that field repairs remain possible using basic tools and materials available in remote locations far from certified repair stations with airframe inspectors and specialized composite facilities. Optional installations include skis for winter operations, floats for water access, and various tire sizes up to 40 inches, creating truly amphibious capability, where same aircraft operates from Frozen Lake in January, dirt strip in July, and river sandbar in October without fundamental airframe modifications. 
Idaho mountain strip operators hauling hunting clients' gear and game meat from 7,000 foot density altitude locations in confined valleys recognize a backcountry super cub as essential tool rather than recreational toy. But when mission requires absolutely minimum takeoff and landing distances, regardless of any other performance metric, certain extreme tall specialists pursue configurations that sacrifice everything for final 50 feet of runway performance. Czech and American engineers observed this obsession, deciding that automatic leading edge slats combined with Fowler flaps and competition, G suspension, could redefine physically possible. Stool competition circuit, where pilots compete, measuring takeoff and landing distances in feet, rather than hundreds of feet, created demand for aircraft designed without compromise toward any objective, except winning drag races that crown shortest distance champions annually. The Just Aircraft Super Stole XL emerged from this culture featuring automatic leading edge slats that deploy based on airflow conditions, combined with massive Fowler flaps projecting rearward to increase both wing cord and total area, simultaneously maximizing lift coefficient at airspeeds that approach walking pace when configured for minimum speed operations. 4130 chromely tube fuselage mated to all metal aluminum wing structure rides on landing gear, featuring suspension travel and damping characteristics borrowed conceptually from trophy truck off-road racing, where absorbing severe impacts without structural failure determines competitive success or catastrophic failure. Engine installations typically center on Titan O-340, producing approximately 180 horsepower or Lycoming variants in similar output range, driving fixed pitch propellers optimized for static thrust with maximum takeoff weights around 1,900 to 2,000 pounds, depending on specific configuration chosen. Stall speeds in full flap configuration range from 32 to 37 miles per hour, depending on gross weight and atmospheric conditions, with climb rates exceeding 1,500 to 2,000 feet per minute when lightly loaded and properly configured. Kansas agricultural operators checking pivot irrigation systems, fence lines, and crop conditions across properties spanning thousands of acres find Superstol XL provides aerial Jeep capability, landing on farm roads between fields or pasture strips carved from unused corners, but absolute focus on minimum distance performance compromises cruise speed to approximately 90 to 100 miles per hour, making long cross-country flights tedious compared to faster traveling machines. Wyoming ranchers, operating across vast distances between seasonal grazing allotments, require different balance trading, some extreme stall capability for improved cruise efficiency, and three-seat capacity, creating demand for utilitarian bush truck design philosophy instead of two-seat sport special. All aluminum 6061-T6 construction. Using pulled rivets and semi monocoque techniques enables garage assembly without specialized aerospace tooling, while high wing with pronounced leading edge sweep combines fixed slats, creating stall characteristics gentle enough for pilots transitioning from certified tricycle gear trainers into tail dragger backcountry operations. The Zenith CH750 Super Duty evolved from standard CH750, adding structural reinforcements throughout longer on assemblies, permitting higher gross weights around 1,900 pounds, while accommodating third seat behind main cabin, creating genuine three-place capacity, rare among stall-focused experimental designs, prioritizing payload over speed. Like coming O-360, producing 180 horsepower or continental, I-0-370 variants up to 200 horsepower drive constant speed propellers delivering takeoff distances around 300 to 500 feet, depending on density altitude, wind conditions, and gross weight with climb rates exceeding 1,000 feet per minute under favorable conditions. Large cargo doors styled after utility vehicle tailgates permit loading fence posts, veterinary supplies, tools, and oversized equipment, while removable rear seat transforms cabin into dedicated cargo hauler when mission demands prioritize freight over passengers creating operational flexibility valued by working ranches. Texas operations spanning hundreds of miles between headquarters and distant pastures demand aircraft combining backcountry strips capability with legitimate cross-country cruise performance, creating hybrid mission requirements. Mixed construction philosophy combines 4130 crumbly steel tube forward fuselage providing crash protection with aluminum rear sections, and all metal wings featuring modern airfoil profiles optimized for cruise efficiency rather than absolute minimum speed, creating compromised design serving dual missions effectively without excelling at either extreme. The RANS S-21 outbound offers tail dragger or tricycle configurations with reinforced landing gear options supporting oversized Tundra tires for rough field operations, 
while maintaining aerodynamic cleanliness sufficient for cruise speeds between 135 and 145 miles per hour when equipped with Rotax 915IS turbocharged power plant. Maximum takeoff weight approximately 1,850 pounds, with useful loads around 800 pounds, accommodates two adults full fuel and substantial baggage, enabling weekend trips spanning multiple states, while takeoff performance under 500 feet permits operations from grass strips adjacent to seasonal grazing allotments during summer pasture rotations. Kit features extensive pre-assembly with matched hole drilling throughout structure accompanied by detailed documentation, attracting builders over 60 who want hands on participation without committing entire decade to construction process, creating appeal among demographic with limited time remaining budget-conscious families seeking simplest possible entry into backcountry flying prioritize proven reliability over performance. 4130 steel tube fuselage with fabric covered in pennage mated to aluminum wings creates lightweight structure, keeping empty weights low, while two-seat side-by-side cockpit provides comfortable width and excellent visibility through generous glazing area facilitating agricultural inspection missions. The Ranza S-20 Raven accepts tail dragger or tricycle landing gear configurations, allowing builders to match personal skill level and intended operating environment with Rotax 9 12 ULS variants from 100 to 110 horsepower delivering cruise speeds between 95 and 110 miles per hour. Stall characteristics remain gentle with full flap speeds around 37 to 40 knots, while takeoff distances from maintained grass strips stay under 400 feet at typical operating weights, making aircraft suitable for pilots, transitioning from certified fleet into experimental ownership without intimidating performance envelope. Maximum weights between 1,320 and 1,500 pounds create useful loads sufficient for two occupants fuel and modest baggage, while straightforward construction and affordable kit pricing attract first-time builders. When absolute simplicity and field repairability using basic hand tools matter more than performance, Certain tube fabric designs from African manufacturers offer compelling alternative. 4130 steel tube fuselage with fabric covered in pennage mated to aluminum wings creates lightweight structure, keeping empty weights low, while two-seat side-by-side cockpit provides comfortable width and excellent visibility through generous glazing area facilitating agricultural inspection missions. The Ranza S-20 Raven accepts tail dragger or tricycle landing gear configurations, allowing builders to match personal skill level and intended operating environment with Rotax 9 12 ULS variants from 100 to 110 horsepower delivering cruise speeds between 95 and 110 miles per hour. Stall characteristics remain gentle with full flap speeds around 37 to 40 knots, while takeoff distances from maintained grass strips stay under 400 feet at typical operating weights, making aircraft suitable for pilots, transitioning from certified fleet into experimental ownership without intimidating performance envelope. Maximum weights between 1,320 and 1,500 pounds create useful loads sufficient for two occupants fuel and modest baggage, while straightforward construction and affordable kit pricing attract first-time builders. When absolute simplicity and field repairability using basic hand tools matter more than performance, Certain tube fabric designs from African manufacturers offer compelling alternative. Tubular steel and aluminum construction bolted together with fabric covering using Trilaminato synthetic sailcloth creates airframe easily inspected and repaired in remote locations without specialized composite facilities or certified repair stations, making aircraft particularly suitable for operations far from urban aviation infrastructure supporting conventional maintenance approaches. The Skyreach Bushcat employs high wing configuration with side-by-side -side seating and tricycle or tail dragger landing gear options, while maximum takeoff weight of 1,323 pounds, combined with empty weight around 660 to 750 pounds, leaves generous, useful load capacity for two occupants' fuel and cargo. Rotax 912, ULS variants producing 80 to 100 horsepower, deliver cruise speeds approximately 85 knots at 5,000 feet, burning around four and a half gallons per hour with fuel capacity of 25 gallons, providing endurance sufficient for agricultural patrol missions, inspecting fences, livestock, and irrigation systems across properties spanning thousands of acres. Stall speed and landing configuration hovers around 38 to 40 knots, while takeoff distances approximate 260 feet, and landing rolls around 300 feet, creating legitimate SDOL capability without extreme specialization, Compromises allowing operations from farm roads between fields or pasture strips carved from property corners. 
Operators seeking maximum payload capacity in two seat configuration, plus rugged construction tolerating harsh backcountry abuse, increasingly examine Canadian designs, emphasizing structural strength. All aluminum construction using semi-monocoque fuselage techniques with pre-drilled matched hole components simplifies assembly while eliminating fabric maintenance concerns and permitting repairs at any sheet metal equipped maintenance facility familiar with conventional aircraft construction methods creating long-term operational advantages. The Murphy Radical features high wing with substantial flap area and robust landing gear designed accommodating oversized tires, skis, or floats with maximum takeoff weights around 2,000 pounds and useful loads approaching 900 pounds, enabling two occupants plus significant cargo fuel and equipment for extended backcountry missions. Lycoming O-360 or I-0-360 power plants from 180 to 220 horsepower swing, constant speed propellers optimized for stall operations delivering takeoff distances measured in hundreds of feet, while cruise speeds between 120 and 130 miles per hour maintain respectable cross-country capability. Cabin width and door design accommodate larger occupants comfortably, while baggage areas behind seats and optional wing lockers provide cargo flexibility valued by working operators, hauling tools, parts, and supplies between remote locations and headquarters facilities requiring tactical transport capability. When family operations demand four to six seat capacity with payload capabilities, rivaling small certified twins, certain heavy hauler experimental designs redefine bush truck concept entirely. 4130 Crumley steel tube fuselage welded construction combined with all aluminum wings spanning 34 feet creates structure certified for plus 4.5 minus 2.7 G loading at 3,000 pound gross weight delivering strength margins, permitting genuine utility category operations in backcountry environment. The Bearhawk 5 accommodates six occupants in configurable seating arrangements with massive cargo area behind seats, accessible through large doors permitting loading of oversized items including drums, equipment, and supplies, while useful load approaching 1,400 pounds transforms aircraft into aerial freight hauler rather than mere passenger transport. Lycoming IO-540 power plant producing 300 horsepower drives, constant speed propeller delivering cruise speeds around 146 knots, true airspeed at altitude while maintaining stall speed of 44 miles per hour, and takeoff distances around 225 feet, creating performance envelope rivaling turbine singles at fraction of operational costs. Fuel capacity options between 55 and 74 gallons provide range from 640 to 880 nautical miles, depending on power settings and payload configuration, enabling legitimate cross-country missions, connecting remote ranch properties to urban centers hundreds of miles distant without fuel stops. Alaska operators demanding absolute maximum payload plus amphibious capability, including floats, examine designs specifically engineered as experimental beaver alternatives. All aluminum semi-monocoque construction using match hole technology with pulled AVEX rivets creates airframe assembled by single builder without complex jigging requirements. While dimensional specifications targeting 3,500 pound maximum takeoff weight with useful loads between 1,550 and 1,850 pounds. Position aircraft as experimental DHC-2 Beaver alternative. The Murphy Moose accommodates four to six occupants in configurable interior layouts with massive rear cargo doors permitting loading of 55 gallon drums motorcycles, large equipment and oversized freight transforming aircraft into genuine aerial truck capable of hauling volume and weight combinations impossible in conventional light aircraft categories. Power plant options range from Lycoming IO-540 variants, producing 250 to 300 horsepower through radial configurations, including Soviet M-14P, generating 360 horsepower with some operators installing turboprop conversions, creating performance envelope spanning from economical cruise to absolute brute force capability, depending on mission requirements and budget constraints. Operations from dirt gravel, snow or water using appropriate landing gear configurations, including oversized tires, skis, or floats permit access to locations hundreds of miles from maintained runways, while structural robustness and all metal construction facilitate field repairs at remote sites using basic sheet metal techniques familiar to any airframe mechanic. Alaska bush operators hauling supplies between villages, remote mining camps, and hunting lodges recognize moose as ultimate tool where payload capacity, operational flexibility, and go anywhere capability matter more than speed, refinement, or acquisition cost, creating loyal following among serious backcountry professionals. Which aircraft matches your state terrain and mission profile best? Share thoughts and comments, helping fellow operators understand regional considerations. Did these state comparisons change your bush plane perspective? 
Hit that like button if you value geographic analysis over generic recommendations, ignoring operational realities. Want more content examining how location determines aircraft choices? Subscribe and activate notifications, ensuring you never miss regional aviation analysis. Watch the videos appearing here on screen and stay with us. Bye-bye.